Welcome back to The Pharmacist. I hope you are safe, healthy, and learning something new every day. In today's video, we are going to talk about one of the most important clinical skills in healthcare, which is how to give an intramuscular injection safely. This step-by-step -step nurse level training guide is designed for nursing students, pharmacy students, medical assistants, and healthcare professionals who want to master IM injection technique with confidence. If you are new to injections or want to refresh your skills, this complete guide will help you avoid mistakes, reduce pain, and protect your patient from complications. So watch this video till the end because every step matters. Before we begin, remember that injections are medical procedures and must only be performed by trained professionals or under supervision. Patient safety always comes first. Let us start with understanding what an intramuscular injection actually is. An intramuscular injection, also called IM injection, is a method of delivering medication deep into the muscle tissue. Muscles have a rich blood supply, which allows the medicine to be absorbed quickly and effectively. IM injections are commonly used for vaccines, antibiotics, pain medications, hormones, and emergency drugs. Now, the first and most important step before giving any injection is preparation. Preparation is not just about collecting equipment, but also about mental readiness. You must know the drug name, dose, route, and purpose of the injection. Always read the prescription carefully and double check the medication label. Confirm the right patient, right drug, right dose, right route, and right time. Now gather all required equipment. You will need a sterile syringe, a sterile needle, alcohol swabs, cotton or gauze, gloves, a sharps disposal container, and the medication vial or ampule. Check the expiration date of the medication. Never use expired medicine. Inspect the vial or ampule for any discoloration, particles, or cracks. If anything looks unusual, do not use it. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand rub. Hand hygiene is critical to prevent infection. After hand washing, wear clean gloves. Now prepare the medication. If the medicine is in an ampule, gently tap the top to move liquid down. Clean the neck with an alcohol swab. Use an ampule cutter or snap it carefully away from you. Attach the needle to the syringe firmly. Insert the needle into the ampule and draw the prescribed amount of medication. Remove air bubbles by tapping the syringe gently and pushing the plunger slightly until air is expelled. If the medicine is in a vial, clean the rubber stopper with an alcohol swab. Draw air into the syringe equal to the medication dose. Insert the needle into the vial and inject the air. Turn the vial upside down and draw the required dose. Again, remove air bubbles carefully. Now choose the correct needle size. For adults, usually a needle length of one inch to one and a half inches are used depending on muscle mass. Needle gauge is commonly 21 to 23. Using the correct needle size reduces pain and ensures proper drug delivery. Now comes the most critical part, which is site selection. Choosing the correct injection site prevents nerve injury, pain, and poor absorption. One common site is the deltoid muscle. This is located on the upper arm. It is commonly used for vaccines and small volume injections. To locate it, ask the patient to relax the arm. Find the acromion process, which is the bony part on top of the shoulder. Measure about two to three finger widths below it. The injection site is in the thickest part of the muscle. Do not inject too high or too low. Another commonly used site is the vastus lateralis muscle. This is located on the outer side of the thigh. It is the preferred site for infants, children, and patients with low muscle mass. To locate it, divide the thigh into three equal parts. The middle outer section is the injection site. The ventrogluteal muscle is considered the safest site for IM injections in adults. It is located on the side of the hip. This site has no major nerves or blood vessels. To locate it, place the palm of your hand on the greater trochanter. Point the thumb toward the groin, index finger toward the anterior superior iliac spine, middle finger stretched toward the back. The triangle formed between the fingers is the injection site. 
The dorsogluteal site is less preferred due to risk of sciatic nerve injury. If used, extreme caution and proper landmarking is required. Once the site is selected, explain the procedure to the patient. Good communication reduces anxiety and muscle tension. Ask the patient to relax the muscle. Position the patient comfortably depending on the injection site. Clean the skin with an alcohol swab using circular motion from center outward. Allow the skin to air dry. Do not blow or touch the area after cleaning. Now hold the syringe like a dart. Stretch the skin or bunch it depending on patient muscle mass. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle quickly and smoothly. A quick insertion causes less pain. Once the needle is inserted, stabilize the syringe. Some protocols recommend aspiration, while others do not, especially for vaccines. Follow your institutional guidelines. If aspiration is required, gently pull back the plunger. If blood appears, withdraw the needle and discard the syringe. Prepare a new injection and choose a different site. If no blood appears, inject the medication slowly and steadily. Injecting slowly reduces pain and tissue damage. After the medication is fully injected, wait a few seconds, then withdraw the needle smoothly at the same angle. Apply gentle pressure with cotton or gauze. Do not massage the site unless indicated. Dispose of the needle and syringe immediately into a Shaps container. Never recap the needle. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene again. Now observe the patient for any immediate adverse reactions. Some medications and vaccines can cause allergic reactions. Advise the patient about possible side effects like pain, redness, or swelling. Instruct them to report severe pain, numbness, fever, or allergic symptoms. Documentation is also an important part of safe injection practice. Record the medication name, dose, route, site, time, and any patient reaction. Proper documentation ensures continuity of care. Now, let us talk about common mistakes and how to avoid them. One common mistake is incorrect site selection. Always landmark carefully. Another mistake is using the wrong needle size. This can cause poor absorption or pain. Injecting too fast or into a tense muscle also increases discomfort. Always encourage relaxation. Never reuse needles or syringes. Never inject through clothing. Never skip hand hygiene. These basic roles protect both patient and healthcare worker. Pain reduction techniques are also important. Use a quick dart-like motion. Allow alcohol to dry completely. Distract the patient with conversation. Use appropriate needle length. These small steps make a big difference. As a pharmacist and healthcare educator, it is our responsibility to promote safe medication practices. An IM injection is not just a technical skill, but a responsibility. One wrong step can cause serious harm. That is why training, practice, and attention to detail are essential. If you are a student, I recommend practicing under supervision using simulation models. Confidence comes with practice. Never rush an injection. Accuracy is more important than speed. Always stay updated with guidelines. Different organizations may have updated recommendations. Continuous learning is part of being a healthcare professional. Now, before we end, let me remind you again, this video is for educational purposes. Only trained professionals should administer injections. Patient safety is always the top priority. If you found this step-by-step -step training guide helpful, then please support the pharmacist by liking this video. Share it with nursing and pharmacy students. Subscribe to the channel for more practical medical and pharmaceutical education. Your support helps us bring more valuable content for healthcare professionals. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay skilled, and keep learning with the pharmacist.